Hello students, I am Ekta. Previously, we have learned about percentages. Let's recall the percentage. Percent means per hundred or out of hundred. It is denoted by the symbol percent. X percent denotes the fraction X by hundred. Quantity A and then decrease that quantity by X percent. We will get the decreased quantity as D is equal to 1 minus X by 100 A. If we start with quantity A and then increase that quantity by X percent, we will get the increased quantity as D is equal to 1 plus X by 100 A. For any given number, when it is increased first by X percent and then decreased by Y percent, then the value of the number is increased or decreased by X plus Y plus XY by 100 percent. Use the negative sign for decrease and also assume decrease if the sign is negative. Today, we are going to learn about profit, loss, discount, overhead expenses and GST. After the completion of this lesson, you will be able to know learning outcomes. To recall the concept of profit, loss and discount. To know the application of percentages in profit, loss, overhead expenses, discount and GST. To solve problems involving percentages in profit, loss, overhead expenses, discount and GST. Keywords from this lesson. Percentage, Profit, Loss, Discount, Tax, Interest, Investment, Growth, Depreciation, Cost Price, Selling Price and Marked Price. Profit, Loss, Discount, Overhead Expenses and GST. Number 1, Profit and Loss. Children, let's recall the lesson. If the selling price of an article is less than the cost price of the article, then there is profit or loss? Solution, yes, correct, loss. An article costing rupees 5000 is sold for rupees 4850. Is there a profit or loss? What percentage is it? Solution. Yes, it is a loss. So, what is the loss percentage? Percentage of loss. CP minus SP by CP into 100. Is equal to 5000 minus 4850 by 5000 into 100 is equal to 150 by 5000 into 100 is equal to 3 percent. The loss percentage is 3. If the ratio of the cost price 
and the selling price of an article is 5 is to 7, then the profit by gain is what? Solution. CP is equal to 5x. SP is equal to 7x. Profit is equal to 7x minus 5x is equal to 2x. Profit percentage is equal to 7x minus 5x is equal to 2x by 5x into 100 is equal to 40 percent. The profit percentage is 40. Cost price CP. The amount for which an article is bought is called its cost price. Selling price SP. The amount for which an article is sold is called its selling price SP. Profit or gain. When the SP is more than CP, then there is a profit or gain. Therefore, profit by gain is equal to SP minus CP. Loss. When the SP is less than the CP, then there is a loss. Therefore, loss is equal to CP minus SP. It is to be noted that the profit or loss is always calculated on the cost price. Formula Profit or gain percent is equal to profit by CP into 100%. Loss percent is equal to loss by CP into 100%. Selling price SP is equal to 100 plus profit percent by 100 into CP or cost price CP is equal to 100 by 100 plus profit percent into SP. Selling price SP is equal to 100 minus loss percent by 100 into CP or Cost price CP is equal to 100 by 100 minus loss percent into SP. Discount During the month of Adi and festival seasons, shopkeepers offer a certain percentage of rebate on the mark price of the articles in order to increase sales and also to clear the old stock. In big shops and departmental stores, we see that every product is tagged with a cart and a price marked on it. This price marked on the cart is called the mark price. Based on this mark price, the shopkeeper offers a certain percentage of the discount. The price payable by the customer after the deduction of the discount is called the selling price. That is, selling price is equal to mark price minus discount. Overhead expenses Traders, retailers and shopkeepers are involved in the buying and selling of goods. Sometimes when articles like machinery, furniture, electronic items etc. are bought a few expenses may happen on their repairs, transportation and labour charges etc. These expenses are included in the cost price and are called overhead expenses. Total cost price is equal to cost price plus overhead expenses. Discount percent is equal to discount by mark price into 100%. Goods and services tax GST. The goods and services taxes GST is the only common tax in India levied on almost all the goods and services mean for domestic consumption.
the gst is remitted by traders and consumers alike and is also one of the main sources of income for both the central and state governments there are three types of gst namely central gst cgst state gst sgst and integrated gst igst for union territories there is utgst the gst is shared by the central and the state governments equally there are also many products like eggs honey milk salt etc which are exempted from gst products like petrol diesel etc do not come under gst and they are taxed separately the gst council has fitted over 1300 goods and 500 services under four tax slabs namely 5% 12% 18% 28% examples problems on profit loss discount overhead expenses and gst example if the selling price of an led tv is equal to 5 by 4 of its cost price then find the gain by profit percentage solution let the cp of the led tv be rupees x therefore selling price is equal to 5 by 4 x profit is equal to sp minus cp is equal to 5 by 4 x minus x is equal to x by 4 profit percent is equal to profit by cp into 100 percent therefore profit percent is equal to x by 4 by x into 100 percent is equal to 1 by 4 into 100% is equal to 25% note if there are two successive discounts of a% percent and b% percent respectively then sp is equal to 1 minus a by 100 1 minus b by 100 into mp single discount in percent equivalent to three successive discounts of a percent b percent and c percent respectively is equal to 1 minus 1 minus a by 100 1 minus b by 100 1 minus c by 100 into 100% example a water heater is sold by a trader for rupees 10502 including gst at 18% find the marked price of the water heater and gst solution let the marked price be rupees x now x plus 18x by 100 is equal to 10502 118x by 100 is equal to 10502 
मार्क प्राइस एक्स इज इक्वल टू रुपीज एट थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड जी एस टी एट एटीन परसेंट इज इक्वल टू रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड टू माइनस रुपीज एट थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू रुपीज सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड टू और इज इक्वल टू एट थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड इंटू एटीन बाई हंड्रेड is equal to rupees 1602 points to be remember the amount for which an article is bought is called its cost price cp the amount for which an article is sold is called its selling price sp when the sp is more than the cp then there is a gain or profit profit by gain is equal to sp minus cp when the sp is less than the cp then there is a loss loss is equal to cp minus sp the profit or loss is always calculated on the cost price selling price is equal to mark price minus discount thanks for watching